You know the game that you play in the pool with your friends where you see who can hold your breath underwater the longest? And when you hold your breath longer and longer, that's like a life of sin. The more you hold it, it hurts. And how awesome is it when you get to the surface and you take that breath of air? That is like new life in Christ. So that's what John the Baptist came to do. He came to point the way to life in Jesus Christ. Here are my two little sisters about to show us what life is like without Jesus Christ. I'm gonna kick your lily livered rumpus. What are you doing? No, you can't do that. That's cheat. All right, then I get no. this sweet and this. You're unkind. Or stop. And I am building. This is not fair. You're living for yourself. You're the one who took all the wood. You're filled with jealousy. It's all about you. And it eventually becomes chaos. Stop, stop. This stuff is like, ha! Fighting. Look at this. I wonder what this is. I will do it. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be cheating. Yeah, pretty messed up. Please help. You can clean up. It's annoying. So, Jesus came onto the scene to change this. Sorry, Catherine, I could have handled that better. I'm sorry also, Grace, I shouldn't have cheated in the first place. That our hearts and minds might be changed, that they're transformed. Here's scenario two. Oh gosh, I'm dead. It looks like you are really losing. Can I do anything to help you? You've been baptized, but you're just going through the motions. You know, it's just mechanical. Oh. That would be ever so kind. I would like to give you a settlement. Let's keep this super real. How often is this us when we go to church on Sunday? You stand up at the right times, you sit down at the right times, you fold your hands at the right times, but... Where would you like this to be? What does that really mean? How changed is your life? How connected are you to the life of Jesus? You are ever so kind. Give me a hug. Man, I get it. I've been there. God invites us to so much more. So we can do all the right actions and all the right things, but if the Holy Spirit is not alive in us, it will feel empty and dead. You are my favorite youngest sister. I am your only youngest sister. Think about someone you really love, a relationship. When you're with them, you're not just going through the motions. You know, you're there, they're there, you're interacting with them, you care about them. I'm sorry, Grace, you're really getting busted. Um, can I do anything to help you? That's the relationship God wants with you and me. And that's what the Holy Spirit does. Could I borrow some wooden brick? I'm your favorite sister, remember? So ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, you're such a doll. Yeah, and my stash of wood. He's there to flood our souls with his life. This week, I want you to join us in an awesome adventure. Go to massimpact.us right now. Download the Live It Gathering Guide. It's an awesome way for us to talk and pray about this Sunday's readings. I get it, I play basketball, I'm busy, but just do it. We'll meet you this Sunday at Mass and know how truly and deeply God loves you. I'm sad. <laughs> Alright, looks like. I actually kind of like doing that.